We're taking action for you every day right here on 7. You may remember us telling you about this family. A mother and daughter who came to us after being left with no working water, toilet or shower for several weeks. All a result of what they called a faulty plumber. Just, we're lost, we need help. So 7's Taking Action reporter Amira David has been on the case demanding answers from the contractor who they say left him in those conditions. But in the process, we did get an uplifting update for those struggling seniors after viewers just like you came to the rescue. Amira? That's right. Well, running water, it's something many of us take for granted. Pretty simple, but believe it or not, these two seniors tell me they lived without it for 40 two days. Now, as you can see, it's working in the kitchen. It is also working in the bathroom as a result, not of the contractor, but because of our viewers who said they saw the story and were compelled to jump into action. It was fantastic being able to turn on the kitchen faucet. Haven't been able to do that in 40 some days. It is the ultimate relief for 83 year old Jean Kales and her 62 year old daughter Deb. We first introduced you to them last month when they were on day 27 without water. The bathroom was in shambles. The floor, they say, pulled out by Craig Yeager of Top Notch Plumbing, who told them he would fix a busted pipe but never finished. They say they forked over $5,100, but that instead of a fix, were left with their bathtub in the kitchen, their toilet in the backyard. We don't know who to turn to, who to talk to, how to get any kind of help. We're, we just don't know. So I got on the case. Jaeger initially agreed to return the money, but ultimately never did. And one of our viewers was paying close attention. She called me and said that she just got done wiping her tears and she's, you know, the, the story touched her. After seeing our story, Chuck Williams of ABC Co Properties graciously came forward, getting his crew on the job immediately to replace several frozen over pipes. As a result, water is finally flowing again, but his team isn't done. They've offered to put in new bathroom flooring, a new stand up shower, toilet and vanity, all at no charge, leaving Kales feeling awfully emotional. Oh. <laughs> Our human angels. It renews whatever faith we had in the goodness of people. It feels good to say the least. It does. To know that when we leave that they're, they're in, in, in way better shape than they were w when we came. And what you're looking at now is the new flooring, which they put in after we spoke with them earlier today. As you can see, it has come a long way, but it is almost done. And Chuck just told me moments ago that he expects everything to be wrapped up by tomorrow. So that is the good news. As for Craig Yeager of Top Notch Plumbing, we have not been able to get a hold of him. We're going to continue to press on that. But if you have something you need us to look into, make sure to send us an email, tips at WXYZ.com. For now, on Detroit's West Side, Amira David, 7 Action News. So great to see him step up and get that mother and daughter some help, Amira. Thank you so much.